Today, I'm reviewing and comparing the Runaways and the Harrow Mini Slim Plus hand grinders to find out which is the better budget hand grinder. The Rhinowares grinder is a compact hand grinder with a metal build and ceramic burst. You can buy it for around $40. It consists of four main parts. The ground catcher, which has a 20 to 25 grams capacity, slides onto the main body of the grinder where the burrs are housed, a lid to sit on top of the main compartment, and then finally the handle, which attaches to the grinder. In the box is also a carrying bag and an adapter for the AeroPress. The grinder is quite good looking, but feels cheap. It cannot stand upright by itself when the handle is attached. I could definitely see myself travelling with it. It is very light, small and also fits in the plunger of the AeroPress. The Hario Mini Slim Plus is a hand grinder with a plastic build and also with ceramic burrs. This grinder is also around the $40. The ground catcher with a 24 gram capacity screws on which I much prefer to it sliding on. It also feels more secure in its build which is nice. But the handle doesn't fit as securely on it. It being plastic is good for portability and travelling as it can probably take a bit more. But it is bigger. Adjustment is not the best but okay. The click zero is not very well defined. This is where the burrs are locked together and where you count from for different brew methods. You have to clean this grinder regularly for the adjustment to work properly. The clicks are not very well defined, so I would instead recommend counting turns. Be aware the grind setting may shift when grinding. For my V60 recipe, I go a little more than a full turn. For the April Brewer, also a little more than a full turn. For French press, one and a half and for AeroPress a little less than one turn. Adjustment is much better on the Hario. The click zero is much easier to find and the clicks are more defined. You also have a good range of about 14 clicks. For my V60 recipe, I go 11 clicks and the same for the April Pro. For the French press, I go 13 clicks and for the AeroPress, 9 to 10 clicks. Grind size sample for both grinders coming up. Grinding with the Rhino Wears grinder is okay. The grinder squeaks a bit and the ground catcher feels like it's falling off, but beside from that, it grinds all right. It does require a little bit of work with lots of roasts. Retention from static is very low owing to the ceramic burst. You will still have to give the grinder some knocks to get all of the coffee out. The handle does not slip while grinding, which is nice, but it is quite hard to put on and remove. It is important that you don't force anything with the handle and that you always grind vertically instead of slightly tilted as the connecting part of the handle may break. I like holding the Hario grinder better. It just feels more sturdy. One thing I don't especially like is the handle. It is not very nice to hold and grind with and it sometimes pops off which can be frustrating. Other than that, grinding ease is okay, especially at the coarser spectrum though not as good as the Rhino wears. Retention is also a tiny bit worse on the Hario. Consistency here is surprisingly good, but not great. I find consistency varies from brew to brew. Using recipes with finer grind settings is probably best. Distribution is not this grinder's strong side. It is very inconsistent. Coming up is how this impacts taste. Also, brewing multiple times on the same setting, the results are sometimes different. I would recommend brewers that are more forgiving in terms of distribution, such as the April Brewer. Also, using recipes with finer grind as the distribution is better in that spectrum. These grinders being quite inconsistent in the grind means you will taste both over extraction and under extraction in the same cup. But tastes on these two grinders are not too bad. Definitely much, much better than brew ground. The inconsistent grind may even help with the complexity of the coffee. Of these two grinders, I prefer the taste of the Rhino Wares. Disassembling and cleaning the Rhino Wares grinder is quite easy. I recommend brushing once every two weeks. Again, this grinder needs regular cleaning as the adjustment system doesn't properly 
work if you don't do it regularly. You can also wash the burrs to make them white again using RhinoWare's instructions which I will link below. After grinding, I usually wipe or brush off the grounds catcher and around the burrs with leftover coffee. The small ridge in the bottom of the grounds catcher makes cleaning it harder. It also catches some grounds around the burrs which you have to brush off. Much the same goes for the Hario, but the burrs on it and it being plastic does make it easier to clean than the Rhino wears. The after grinding brush of the grounds catcher and around the burrs for leftover coffee is also a little tedious with this grinder as the catcher is quite deep and burrs having a weird space between them and the grinder body. Grinding your coffee with one of these two grinders is again much much better than using pre-ground. And they are also quite good for the money. If you're just getting into coffee, you may want to buy one of these grinders. But which of the two would I recommend? It's a hard choice. The Rhinoware tastes a bit better and has better uniformity, but the Harrier beats it in many other things including adjustments which I think is very important with the grinder. In the end, the choice is yours, but I would probably prefer the Harrier. Then you can always take the next step and buy a grinder from Timimor Isopresso or maybe a Comet Denter. Thank you so much for watching, see you in another video.